But one of the particularly fascinating anecdotes in the book, and there's plenty, because Bruce Schneier is an amazing writer as well as a cryptographer, um, is you know basically there's a lot of clever people who develop these cryptogra- cryptographic algorithms who are not as clever as they think they are, and the the there's. He says it way better than I will, but you know, there the, the there are plenty of um, you know shipwrecks of good ideas that just did not that were able to be uh, vulnerable and found that. And it seems like uh, quantum resistant or post quantum cryptography is is very um, very much also falls to that that role. And I guess the difference between the two, I hear post quantum now more than quantum resistant because I think the machines are less theoretical now, right? You can probably test them a little more rigorous rigorously um than you could before. Uh so the term I tend to hear more now is post quantum cryptography, right? Is basically making sure you're able to. But it does bring up an interesting point. Um how do you know it's really quantum secure if there's no re air quotes real quantum machine now. And, and 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 I think it's important to point out that Shor's algorithm, which is the one we figured out, which is not we, but like Peter Shor figured out, would break our traditional um, infrastructure, was developed in the 90s. I want to say 1992 or 94. So how do how do these theoreticians, mathematicians work this out on for machines that don't quite exist yet?